feminism backed by popular demands. Thank you guys for staying woke, showing up. What's it going to take? I think it's actually a good thing that women are stepping forward and using our voices and um, speaking out more and more. I don't feel like it's something that we need to do, but it's something that we're choosing to do because the issues are really coming to a head now. And in the past, everything was kind of swept under the rug, but now we are speaking out about the uh, inequalities that are, have been in place for eons, and it's time to get them out from under the rug and take care of them. I feel that all of these women that have now come into government and are going into positions of power, I think that has really been inspired by the women's movement. Um, women are now suddenly realizing, like, hey, maybe I can do this. Maybe I can run for office. Maybe I can make a difference. Whereas before, they might not have been as inspired or as hopeful that they could. Last year, we brought the power to the polls. And this year, we need to make sure that we translate that power into policy. That means we will not let anyone take our rights away. In fact, we will expand them. That means that we will pass and work to pass an equal rights amendment that ensures that all people, regardless of their gender identity, will be respected by the laws of this land. to the Women's March and I brought people with me who were not coming before I made the call. And I'll tell you this, I came to do a job with my sisters and we will complete the job and no one will be discarded from this movement. We will stand together. We will love one another. We will protect one another. We have nothing to lose but our chains. God bless you. Go in peace. We made history. The first two Native American women. The first two Latinas.